This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way to add beveling to the geometry created when using Snapshot 3D? To start off, I just have ZBrush launched, and I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. And the question is asking about using Snapshot 3D, and then after generating geometry from an alpha, if there is a way to add beveling to that created geometry. So I'm just gonna first press comma on my keyboard or come up here and click the light box button here to open up light box. And then at the top here, I'm gonna to navigate to the spotlight area. And in here we have some stored spotlight presets. So I'm gonna come over here to the 512 hard surface spotlight here and just double click this to load it in. After you double click this in, you should see these alphas show up over here. And then you can press Z on your keyboard to get the spotlight wheel and you can click and drag to kind of reposition those. And now I just want to take one of these alphas and I just want to generate some geometry from it. So I'm gonna come over here and grab this alpha here. So just selecting it, you'll see it's gonna be highlighted. And now I can take this and click and drag, just drag it over into space here. And then I'm gonna come across the scale option here and use that and then hold shift to get it to 100%. I'm just gonna reposition the spotlight wheel there in the center. So now that I have this alpha here, I wanna take this alpha and I wanna turn it to geometry. And to do this, I'm going to use the snapshot 3D option right here. Now, as I hover over this, you're gonna see up at the top bar here, it's going to give me the different options I can use with the snapshot 3D button. So if I just simply click, it's going to create a new subtool from this alpha. If I hold down shift and click, it's going to append this new subtool to the current subtool. If I hold down alt and click, it's going to give me a subtractive subtool for use with the live Boolean. And if I hold down Shift plus Alt, it's going to give me a new subtool that's going to be set to intersection. So I just want to create a new subtool. So I'm just going to click on this here and just create a new subtool from this alpha. You'll see over here now, if I go to the subtool palette, I have two subtools here. So I'm going to isolate that part. And then I'm now just going to hit Shift Z to hide spotlight. And here I have my part that was created using Snapshot 3D. Now the question is asking after I've created a part like this, is there any way to get some beveling around the edges? So to do this, we just need to go to the tool palette over here. We need to navigate down to the geometry area and open this up. And then we need to go to the crease area. Now in the crease area, there's this bevel width slider. So if I come across this bevel width slider and I hold down the control key on my keyboard and then click and drag, this is going to allow me to create a bevel between the polygrouping on the model. If I come down here and turn on my polyframes, then turn off line, you can see this is the polygrouping that was created with that alpha when using Snapshot 3D. So I have a breakup from the front part of the alpha to the middle part of the alpha to the back part of the alpha. And with this, I can now use this bevel width slider with the control modifier on my keyboard, and it's going to create a bevel between those polygrouped areas. So if I hold down control and now click and drag, you're gonna see I'm gonna start getting this bevel effect on my model. So I can hold control and drag, and I can now generate a bevel on that mesh. So I turn my polyframes here, you can see now this is the result I'm getting. So let's go through that process one more time. So I'm gonna get out of solo here. I'm gonna hit Z on my keyboard to bring back spotlight. I'm gonna grab another alpha. So I'm gonna come over here and say grab this alpha here and just select it, move it into space. I'm gonna make it larger by scaling and then holding shift. And then I'm gonna position it probably right here in the center. I'm now gonna use the Snapshot 3D option to create a new subtool from this alpha. So simply clicking that button there, you'll see I now have a new subtool created. I'm now gonna hit Shift Z to hide spotlight. And now I'm gonna rotate and I'm gonna isolate that part. So here we have the part there. If I turn on my polyframes with the line option off, you can see this is the polygrouping that has been created. And now if I wanna add a bevel to this, I just can go to the tool geometry area come underneath the bevel option here, hold down the control key on my keyboard, and then click and drag, and that will now bevel that part out. Now if I get out of solo here, you see now I have this, I can use the Gizmo 3D to move that, and I can come back up here and say hide that star, and now I have something like this. So now I've taken those alphas, I've generated them using the Snapshot 3D functionality, and then I've gone through and used the tool geometry, bevel width slider here with the control key modifier to come through and bevel the areas in between those polygroups. And now I'm left with this result. So if you have any other questions about ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. 
Happy ZBrushing.